God bless you, family. Amen. This is Elder Charles Neal. Amen. Real quick, I just want to encourage you on this morning, this wonderful Friday morning. Amen. To say that to God be the glory. Amen. And listen, we are approaching, amen, another Thanksgiving season. I want to encourage you and say happy Thanksgiving to you. And I just want you to remember the less fortunate on this year. Amen. To many of you who have not, if it's not a practice for you, I want you to remember the less fortunate and be able to feed someone that is less fortunate, someone who don't have the tools or the, or, or, or the opportunity to sit down at a table. Amen. And invite somebody into your home that you may know or even someone you may not know. Amen. Glory to God. And just share uh, your uh, share your blessings to them, you know, and be able to allow God to bless you through them. Amen. Because the power of God is real. Amen. But real quick, I want to give you a, a word of uh, encouragement on this morning coming from the book of Acts 1 and 8. Amen. After the Holy Spirit has come upon you, then you shall receive power and ye shall be witnesses in, in, in all nations. Amen. Listen, God is trying to get us to understand the nature of having his spirit. Amen. Having his anointing in our lives is to be witnesses. Amen. Glory to God to talk to people about the love of Christ. Amen. And, but not so much in what we do and what we say, but it's how we live. Amen. And God is trying to get us to live whole and live sanctified. Amen. It's not the, the, the ecclesiastical attire you put on. It's not, amen, the crosses around your neck or the Bible up under your arm. Amen. It's what's in your heart. God is looking for people that will dedicate, amen, uh, and will, will go to the extreme, amen, to the point that you will sell out, amen, hallelujah, glory to God, so folk can be blessed through his word. God wants to use you. He wants to use you to the place, amen, glory to God, where you can be blessed, he can be blessed, and others around you can be blessed, hallelujah. Listen, precious hearts, God wants to get us to a place, amen, of understanding, it is imperative to understand the nature of God's spirit. It cannot be handled any kind of way. Amen. You cannot handle the anointing God's spirit any kind of way. Amen. And you cannot even talk about the anointing of God on other people's lives. I urge you that if you're talking about that, if you're condemning the saints of God, amen, I urge you to stop doing so. Glory to God, because the Bible says, touch not my anointing, neither do my prophets any harm. Amen. So I need you to understand that it's so important to understand, amen, the importance of having God's spirit in your life and, 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 and uh, 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 respecting the spirit of God on, the, on your fellow man, your fellow brother and sister's life. Amen. Hallelujah. So he wants to indwell us. He wants to impart amen, into our lives, the spirit of God, so we can be witnesses, so we can go out and tell others about the love of Christ. And even if you can't say a word, amen, the lifestyle that you live, that's lining up with God's word, what's in your heart, amen, will come forth. It's not enough just to preach to me, but I want to see it. Amen. It's not enough for me to preach to the next man, but I want them to see the love of God that's on the inside of me. Amen. Because God is real and he's on his way back. Hey, listen, I got to go. Amen. Remember the scripture, Acts 1 and 8. Amen. Hallelujah. is talking about the indwelling of God's spirit. Amen. And being witnesses into every nation. Amen. You can be a witness for Christ. All you have to do is repent of your sins and ask God to come into your heart. Hallelujah. And he will do it for you. This is your season. This is your time. God bless you, and we hope to see you. Amen. Come on over and visit us at Triumph Christian Church and Ministry. With my father, amen, Bishop Pompey H. Swan is the uh, presiding uh, pastor, amen, the presiding leader, amen. He's the senior pastor, amen, of that great house. We call it the City of Triumph. Amen. Come on over and be a part on this coming Sunday at 10 a.m. And watch God bless you. Amen. He'll open doors for you. If you come with the right attitude, with expectations, and with God, what you want God to do for you. Amen. A place where you will not be judged. A place where you will not be talked about. But it's a season in your life, amen, where you need to receive Christ as your Savior. So I urge you to come and be a part. Amen. We're located 2200 East Oliver Street in the city of Baltimore on the east side of town. Amen. Right at the corner of Collington and Oliver. We're looking forward to seeing you now. Be blessed and God love you.